be personable. Be somebody that you, know, you can open up to, right? Customer can come to you and understand them in a whole different way, you know, just not you're, you're selling a car. What about you, Justin? Uh, listen. Listen way more than anything because at the end of the day, you're, I say that way too much. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you're there to solve their problem as it came up in one of the earlier panels, right? And the sooner you can identify what that problem is, what they're looking for to, to be solved, you can take care of that customer and it's a more personal experience for that client. What do you think, Marco? Um, first advice I give is go out and shop shop and, and take notes of how you're treated, what you like and what you don't like. And that's your sales process will write itself pretty much at that point. And what you say to your clients is going to take care of its own because ultimately people just, uh, the, the happiest customers clients I've had, and I'm sure everybody can agree, is the ones that are, uh, um, that you're, you're treating like wholly, 100%, the same way you'd want to be treated, mm -hmm. uh, especially our industry. Uh, as we mentioned, it's slow to change, and uh, uh, but clients have, have been changing a lot quicker than we had. And uh, you know, starting from uh, when they used to get wouldn't give you their phone numbers because you like supposedly hounded them, to now they're giving your phone giving you their phone number, begging you to call them because no salesperson returns a client's call apparently nowadays. So they just want to you know go out shop, get yourself uh, you know, if you have the chance, hire a realtor, fire a realtor. Go buy appliances. Um, most interesting one: try and buy a hot tub. Deal with a hot tub salesperson. See what they're <laughs> like. Is there? Wow. <laughs> Knock my socks so, off. So, Paul, with, with the experience that you've had and the success that you've had, you know, what would you recommend to your best friend starting out in the business? Um, just understanding the simple concept of process. I really think uh, I was like Jeff. Literally, the first dealership I started with, um, there was no process. It was just go out, find out what works for you and uh, making the next step to a dealership that actually had a process built. Um, don't try and reinvent the wheel. I mean, there is a simple process. Obviously, you're gonna customize it or tailor make it to each customer, um, but it's, it's simple. Like, if you literally touch each aspect of the process, you will have a better chance at closing. There's no question about it. And there's a reason that this, this has been built. Yeah. Um, so yeah, process is definitely something I think needs to be built and distilled into uh, to someone that's new to the industry. And what about you, Jeff? And, and, and you know, you're in Northern Ontario, it's a different type of community. Would you recommend your friend or neighbor to get into car sales and why? Yeah, no, first I'd say no. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, yeah, and, and so kind of harking back to what Justin spoke about and Dan spoke about, and one of my favorite Zig Ziglar quotes is stop, stop selling and start helping. And so I think right off the bat, that's one of the things you have to learn. And past that, I just think, the one of the things, and, and I hope this shows, and, and what I do as well, is is just be authentic. You know, don't don't try and make yourself seem like you're somebody else or sound sound something better. Just just be yourself, and because I think again, now more than ever, people can really read through that. You know, they know if you're if you're not being authentic, and I think right off the bat that lowers uh, that that reduces so much stress and it breaks so much ice, and people know you know. And then you you don't have to live up to anything other than what you're already offering. Yeah. Right? So just keep it simple for yourself. 